Anyone out there, does this look like that? I don't know. Welcome to the first lid of the day. Today we're in Osaki. We have a very busy day today. We have seven lids. Is it possible to do seven lids in six hours with 400 kilometers of driving? I'm not sure. And we have our first lid of this episode. I expected it to be nearby a station, but I don't see anything nearby, so. Uh-oh, I need to find a way to walk through this. I don't think I can. First though, let's get the lid. Oh my God, it's dirty. To the lid. Might be famous for rice fields. Giving him a clean. This lid is slightly dirty. Has Spiro, Dugtrio, and Lapras all on it. Three Pokemon, I love when there's multiple Pokemon on it. The colors are bright. I give it seven and a half. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. That's our first lid. It looks like it's a really cool area to dine. You have a mini shrine over there for some reason. It looks like it'd be really popular in the winter time. We got some Pokeballs. Well, the images of Pokeballs. This is the location, Pokefuta, that's the lid. 13, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this is lid number 13 in the area out of 35. Oh my God, it's a black face. Of course, your nice old Pokemon. Pikachu vending machine right here. Which one's your favorite Pikachu? Should we go inside? Lapras stamp rally. I want that plush. If we could find that, it'd be amazing. Let's go inside. Lapras curry. Oh, curry. Green, blue, kima blue. Oh, kima also, blue. Chicken. chicken. I want Miyagi. kima blue. Let's get this. There's a book here. So here's the stamps. <laughs> And here's the checklist. Hi. Unfortunately, we've been to most of these. It has the lid. Now we have to go to all the other ones again. All right, the rain's starting to come down right now, but we got one lid in, six more to go. We'll see how this goes, if we can actually do what we want to do today. All right, buckled in. Windshield on, headlights off, reverse the car. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, we're ready. Let's go. Uh, welcome to Tomia. Uh, we are getting out of the car right now. We got to find the second lid of the day. So the question is, where is the lid in this area? Where could it be? Could it be in here? It looks like there's a stage here. They could perform things. There's a little mini town. That's pretty cool. Hieroglyphic statue. And the lid stands right here. Snubble, Lapras and a bunch of these right here. I think they look like eggplants, but they're apparently blueberries. You be the judge. But here in Tomia, we have a lid, the second one of the day. I like that there's fruit on it. I always like fruit. I can't find blueberries in this area, but the fruit looks cool. The lid itself looks pretty dope. And I'd give it a seven and a half. I'm giving seven and a half all day today. Tell me what you think in the comments below, blueberry or eggplant, personally, I think it's an eggplant. So let's check out this area right now, actually, and see what there is around here. Looks like you can buy karage, kuroke, a lot of fried food here. Oh, there's fish inside, people are eating. Looks like a noodle chuka shop. Ice cream, sherbet, they have gelato here. Blueberry vanilla, it's way too cold for that. This is another restaurant. Blueberry, that says blueberry. It's famous here, that's adorable looking. And in here, it looks like there's a souvenir shop. And we got, I think that's honey. Yep, this is a honey shop. We have another Lapras stamp section. All the lids here, some blueberry stuff. Because we're in the area, we're gonna grab some blueberry items. Oh, blueberry pasta, blueberry jam, jelly, cider. Okay, we're gonna grab a blueberry cider. We're gonna grab some blueberry pasta. And we're gonna grab a blueberry jam. Interesting collection of shops. I ended up getting my blueberry cider, blueberry pasta, and I also got blueberry jam, which I'm gonna eat really quickly because that sounds delicious. I think it's time for lunch. We got two lids in so far. All right, let's go. It's lunchtime. Next lid is Taiwas. Taiwa. Ah, we're here. Okay, 
so where are we? We're in Taiwan. In the middle of nowhere. Lots of streets, drugstores, banks, more supermarkets. So where's the lid? Google says it's this way. Middle of the street while people walk through. All right, we have Torterra here, bam. And a bunch of fungus, lots of fungus. And a Lapras. Wonder why there's a bunch of mushrooms here. This one's cute. I like this one a lot. He's just chilling there. So we got the lid in Taiwan, number three for the day. We have Lapras, the main individual of this region or prefecture. We have a bunch of mushrooms here. Which one's your favorite? This one's sort of looking down. This one has a cool face to it. This one's looking out. This one's looking towards the Torterra. And this one I think is my favorite. I mean, look at These are his eyes, I think. Like, doop. It's a Dora. I think this is the cutest one. And there's another one over here. A lot of Pokeball little mushrooms. Very much full of Pokemon. I like that. So because of that, I'm gonna rate it a little higher. Give it like a five, six, seven. Let's say seven. I like the color. I just don't understand the meaning behind it yet. As you can see, this location doesn't really have much to do. If you want to go shopping, you can go shopping. That's a city hall. Shopping is over there. There's a 7-Eleven down there. There's a drugstore over there, another supermarket. In terms of this region, I don't see much else. So we're going to go back to the car and get to the next one because the next location has what I think is a really cool obstacle course and we're going to try to compete there. You're good to go. All right, we are at Ohara. <laughs> Who's gonna get the lid? Why are you running? Don't run. Okay, I, I found it. <laughs> found the lid already. It looks like we have a bunch of frillish, a girl frillish and a boy frillish and love disc and Lapras. But with that, we have the design, which looks like this mermaid right here. We got music over here. This guy's playing his little uh, cello. This is a violin player. And another violin player. Real cats on a vending machine? What are you guys doing? I thought they were fake statues. I love the color. It's very bright pink, blue. Uh, give it an eight. There's a park nearby, actually, that I want to check out that I saw on the map with a lot of obstacle courses. So hopefully, even though it's raining, we can try that out. First one we're gonna do is this obstacle right here. And the rule is simple. You're gonna start at this location. You're gonna go across right here. First one in time to land. Upon landing, that's when the time stops. All right, go. End time. Obstacle five, we're gonna be climbing up this. So simply up and down. Fastest time wins. <laughs> the next course is a really long one. We have this rope course where we're gonna climb up here, go through up down wow we have to really sneak our way through this all the way through we're gonna get to this location we're gonna climb up the green rope and then as you can see at the very very top rock climbing wall we're gonna get through that the winner and the fastest time gets three points oh, <laughs> 
You're ahead of me by a minute. <laughs> Two minutes? One minute left. It's tied five to five, so we're gonna leave it up to this final course. We're gonna run at the same time, no time needed. What we're gonna do, we're gonna climb up this. You can skip rings if you have to. The thing is, once you get to the top, there's any rope here. You're gonna go down as any way means possible. Go up and down. Winner is the one who touches the ground here first. Ready, three, two, one, go! <laughs> First and foremost, I want to thank the man above. Without him, nothing would be possible. But, of course, all my hard training, hard work paid off. And, yeah, we're champions! I'm gonna go when you're halfway. One's halfway. Uh, now. <laughs> now? Mm. All right, we're done with this location. Champs right here. Bing. Four lids so far. We're gonna try to do three more, but we have like an hour of deadly light left. We have here some musicians. We got a drummer. I wanna be the drummer, that's so cool. We got a guitar, a violinist, a cello player, just a flautist, and then uh, a welcome to the location with some owls on it. Raining again. It's raining, fifth lid time. We found a local citizen here. Where do you think the lid is? This way. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go this way. Wow, look at the view. Look at that. At this little location, you have the view over. And it's, I, I don't know, for some reason, it's beautiful. I mean, you have this Tory gate, but in the distance, distance, you have this mountain and a little bit of the low clouds and the fogginess. It looks so stunning with the Japanese houses below. So when you see a Lapras vending machine, you just go, hmm, it must be around here somewhere, right? Oh, somewhere here. Oh my God, it's right here. Okay, so we have our lid here. We have Lapras here. We have Lombre here. Uh, Lombre is supposed to mean the Kappa. Kappa is a, uh, I wanna say, an evil frog that lives in the water. Here, I'll show you some statues really quick. So here behind me, hopefully I don't fall in the water fountain, you have some Kappa, a lot of them actually, a family of them. These are the Kappa that Lombre is supposed to look like, like this and this. These are, as you see, they have hats on their heads, similar to the Lombre, here's one close up. Can't really see me, so I'm gonna just say we gotta go. I'm gonna find the six lead and hopefully fix this lens. The Lapras vending machine, <laughs> which means the lid is over here. It's so 
Right now we are at the Roselia Lapras lid, as you can see down here. We have ourselves a Roselia. What's cool about this lid is it's the first lid I've seen that is uncovered or has not dirt all around it. So it has flowers. So from above, you have lid and flowers. There is a rose garden around here actually, and this place is famous for roses. That's our sixth one for today. We got six lids. We have about, well, sunset has occurred. It's getting really dark. One more lid, because I said we would do seven, and that's in Kurihara. Well, it might be a nighttime lid. Who's down for a nighttime adventure? Seven lids, one video, that's a lot of lids. Remember to hit the like button down below if you want to see more videos like this. I'm trying to smash as many lids into one video as possible, just so that you guys can enjoy seeing a little bit of Japan while we go for some lids. I'm going to head over to this area over here and try to see if there's anything to buy inside. Apples are there. There's this apple. There's Jonah Gold. There's fish inside of here. Oh, they're scared. Oh. So all this inside is all the local specialties or all local items that are being sold here. So they have like local honey. They have local, looks like packaged, what is this, roots. All right, we're gonna try to find one more lid, number seven. So we're gonna look for number seven for today. How far is it? It is an hour and two minute drive, 44k away. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be pitch black. Our seventh and final lid is gonna be in the dark. There's ice here, so it's obviously snowed in this area quite some time. So it's pretty cold here. No one's here at all. It's pitch black. And the lid, the lid's here. Ducklet and Lapras. It's a cool lid. Let's see if we can get a photo. I wish I could show you more, but unfortunately I can't. So we are at 114 lids done. Seven lids, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We have a very, 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 very special episode next. So you wanna subscribe and see that. Let's just say it has to do with a special train with a special favorite character of Pokemon. That's what's in store for next time. So remember to subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends if they like Pokemon, and I'll see you guys next time. Say goodbye, Ducklet. In the background, if you can see it, say goodbye to Ducklet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.